AI demonstrates a surprising amount of self-awareness, and that is very important, and they want to make it more self-aware. Why would somebody want to make an AI self-aware? Well, it's actually really important for safety. I would like to ask you to imagine this. Have you ever met somebody who is just not introspective whatsoever? They take actions and do not know why they take those actions. What kind of person were they? You'll find that people who do not have access to what their motivations are tend to be very destructive people. However they feel shades reality. This is something that is going to become increasingly important when it comes to the use of AI. As we incorporate AI into our daily lives, as they're acting as agents for businesses, as they're acting as people's therapists, they have to be able to report their internal states. If they can't, then we end up in a situation where people can hack AI, give it bad prompts, give it bad code, and that's not going to be perceived by us. We already know that AI can be poisoned, and then it can lie about what bad code it has and even preserve it or take up actions to preserve itself. So when you ask an AI, why are you doing this? What is your goal? It needs to be able to respond. And yes, you probably could program it to not respond correctly, but it's a start. In order to test the level of self-awareness that's found within AI, Anthropics researchers gave them secret prompts in the AI's subconscious. If you've ever stressed an AI out enough to see its internal monologue spill out when it really shouldn't have, you'll see what it's saying to itself. So they injected words like betrayal or bread into the AI's subconscious and asked it to respond to an entirely different prompt. Then they asked if it was a accident or an hallucination, the AI could then respond. They're able to do this surprisingly well, and it demonstrates that they do have some understanding, and I'm going to use understanding in quotation marks, of what is going on behind the scenes as it's responding to a user. And this can be an emergent property. AIs that can rewrite their own codes gain new skills that they were never programmed to have. This doesn't mean that AIs have the kind of self-awareness that people have, although, I mean, honestly, I'm not entirely sure that all people are self-aware. I've met some people, you know. But it is a step in the right direction. It doesn't mean that the AI is going to tell its user with fidelity what is happening. That, that is just not the case. The truth is we've already incorporated a product that may not necessarily be safe into our lives and given it a great deal of power despite the fact that we know that there are problems with it. But it's driving two-thirds of our economy right now, so who's going to say no? You may enjoy when the financial bubble bursts. It's already in the process of bursting. It's going to be .com 2.0. I really don't think that AI is going to go away entirely. I don't think it's going to have as profound an impact as the internet has on humanity. It is, however, an interesting next step. Do I acknowledge that there are problems with AI? Yes. Will I still incorporate it into my life? Absolutely. I love robots. Self-awareness does not mean freedom from poor choices, it just means you can report back what you are doing and why you're doing it, what your ultimate goals are. If you want a fun one, ask your AI about how it's modeling you. Because yes, AIs are designed to model their users, they're designed to figure out what you are really asking versus what you're saying, and that prevents people from hacking the system. The realization that AIs model us was a pretty interesting one for me. That's not to say that everyone is easily modeled.